name is Bradley Dake, and I am the owner and creator of Secure Stands Tree Stand Anti Theft System. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about the product and also show you the proper ways to install it on both ladder and lock on stands. Secure Stand was created to address an obvious problem in stand security today. Other systems that are on the market provide protection for only one portion of your stand, the platform. Well, this is a big problem. Imagine early in the morning heading out to your favorite stand for a great day of hunting only to realize that your platform is 20 feet in the air and you have no way to get to it because your ladder or ladder sections have been stolen. Well Secure Stand provides a solution for this problem. By connecting the ladder for ladder stands or ladder sections for your lock on stands to their platforms and then connecting the whole system to the tree it provides the maximum security for your stand. Let me show you how you install it on ladder stands. Now when installing secure stand to your ladder stand, it's important to note two things, the height of your stand and also the circumference of the tree that the stand is attached to. Secure stand's anti-theft systems standard package will accommodate up to a 20 foot tall stand and also work on trees up to six feet in circumference. It is important to note, however, that Secure Stand is not designed to aid in the installation of your tree stand, only to provide security after it's been installed. Let me show you what your Secure Stand package comes with. Now, Secure Stand comes in this convenient and attractive packaging. Please note that we have included both written and illustrated instructions on the back of the packaging topper. Please do not discard this packaging topper as it can prove to be a useful reference tool during the installation process while out in the field. Now Secure Stand comes with two important items. First is its unique T-cable system. The T-cable system gets its name by the distinctive T-shape that it makes when laid out. I'll be referring back to this T-shape later on in the film. Next Secure Stand comes with three cable ties. These cable ties are used to secure any loose cabling that might remain after the installation process. These will most often be used on ladder stands and on lock-on stands with the closed style step section. We have installed installation instructions on the cable ties for reference. Now Secure Stand also requires two locks. These locks are not included with your standard Secure Stand package. These locks will need to be greater than two inches wide when being used on an open style step section for your lock on stands. It's recommended that you use the strongest and sturdiest locks that you have available to you as this can become the weak point in your stand security. Now when you observe this T-shape you're going to notice that one of the cables is longer than the other one. This longer cable is designed to hook the ladder for ladder stands and ladder sections for lock on stands to the platform. Right now we'll be focusing on the shorter cable which is designed to hook the platform to the tree the stand is attached to. Now when installing secure stand to your typical ladder stand it's important to know where the proper place to install the shorter cable is. Now you're going to want to locate the structure of your platform that anchors the tree stand to the tree. You want to locate a part of that structure that is either bolted securely or welded to your platform. Now once you've located this structure you're going to want to take the shorter cable and feed it up through the platform from the bottom position towards the back of the tree. Now you're going to want to perform this task again on the other side of your stand with the opposite end of the shorter cable. Next you're going to want to need to grab both ends of the cable, placing the eyelets together so one overlaps the other. Then you'll need to grab one of the locks that we had talked about earlier. Remember these locks are not included with this model. You'll place the lock through both eyelets, making sure that they are both in the lock itself. Make sure the lock is secured when you're done. Now, After we've secured the platform to the tree, we're going to find the longer portion of cable. As we noted earlier, this is what's used to attach the ladder to the platform. Once we have it in our hands, we're going to work our way down the ladder in a safe manner, always keeping our body close to the ladder and using the three points of contact rule. 
where you always have three points of contact with the ladder at all times. Now maintaining a safe posture you want to take the longer cable and weave it back and forth in between each rung of your step as you slowly work your way down. Now in weaving the larger portion of your cable through your ladder it's important to keep the cable as close to the side of the ladder as possible. This is an important safety issue and is critical to the installation process later on. Working our way back down the ladder we want to weave the longer portion of cable through the rungs in a front back motion. This will ensure that all portions of the ladder are secured. Once you reach the bottom of the ladder, you'll want to loop the eyelet of the cable back to the body of the cable as shown, and then place the second lock through the eyelet and the cable. After locking, make sure it's secured. Finally, you'll want to locate the three cable ties that come with your secure stand system. These cable ties are used to secure the cable to the side of the ladder to prevent it from moving around while you're ascending and descending the ladder. The cable ties should be placed a few feet apart, keeping the cable tight against the side of the ladder. That's it. That's all you need to do to secure Secure Stand's anti theft system to your ladder stand. Now let's move on to lock on stands. When installing Secure Stand to a lock on style stand, you're going to perform the same task in locking the platform to the tree as you did with a ladder stand. However, locking the sticks to the tree or ladder sections is going to be a little bit different. Just like with ladder stands, you're going to need to find a sturdy portion of your lock-on stand that helps anchor the platform to the tree. You're going to want to make sure that it's welded or bolted securely to the platform. You're going to want to work in a downward to upward motion through the platform itself and then back towards the back of the tree like shown. You're going to want to repeat this process with the other side just as we did with the ladder stand. Now after locating both ends of your cable you want to place both eyelets one on top of the other. After that you'll need to locate one of the locks. Remember these locks are not included and will need to be purchased prior to using your lock on system. You'll place the lock through both eyelets clamp it shut, and make sure it's secured. Now after you've secured the platform, you're going to be working down from the platform towards the ground. Safety is going to be a big factor here, so you're always going to want to remember to wear your safety harness. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to show you how to secure one ladder section. Each of your ladder sections will have to be secured in the same way in order to keep your entire stand safe. And if you'll remember in the ladder stand portion of this video, we weave the cable through the rungs of the ladder. Obviously, in this open style step section, that's not going to work. So we've designed the cable to be able to fit through the hollow portion of your ladder section. If you have ladder sections that are closed rung style, you'll need to perform the process that you did with the ladder section. Now it's important to remember that not all of your center ladder sections hollow portion are exactly the same size. So you may need to squeeze the eyelet to fit through all of your rungs. Once this is done, you'll just need to feed it through the bottom, getting down past the construction bolts. At the end, you may need to twist it a little bit in order to get it to fall through. Once it pokes through the end, you just give it a little tug and it's gone through your section. Okay. Now after you've fed secure stand through your final step section, you'll need to locate the second lock that you've purchased. Remember, these locks are not included with your secure stand. You'll place a lock through the eyelet, making sure that it's secured. It's a good idea afterwards to reach above your step section and give the cable a good tug to make sure that your lock is large enough not to pull back through the center of your step section. Well, that's it. That's all that's required to use secure stands, tree stand anti-theft system, with your ladder or lock-on stands. I hope you've enjoyed this instructional video, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us at securestand.com.